Hi, this is Brendan Knight, Matthew Knight School Tech Coach. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use your Viewboard to record a lesson to post for your students. And there are a couple of ways that you can do that. Uh, one of them is using the Viewboard recorder, and the other is using whatever your favorite uh, Chrome recording extension is. So the Viewboard recorder we'll use from the Viewboard interface, and I'm going to start by opening my whiteboard. That's probably how uh, you would present your lesson. So you can open a, a whiteboard lesson that you already have made, or you can uh, make one as you go. Um, I'm going to start by logging in using the app. So once I'm logged in uh, and I have my whiteboard ready to go, however I want to start my lesson, I'm going to either, uh, I can launch the recorder either from this menu option, and the little video camera is the one I want. Or you can also actually access this from anywhere in the Viewboard interface by clicking your uh, menu, your side menu, and clicking this little camera icon. And uh, the left-hand button would actually do a live stream, which might be an option if you have live streaming set up on YouTube. I don't at this point. Um, the camera is an option to uh, video, to record a video that you can then post on Schoology or wherever you want. Uh, so there's really only one option uh, for each of these uh, configurations. One thing that you're going to want to do if you want audio, um, there is no built-in microphone on the viewboard, I don't believe, uh, but the, uh, the webcam has a built-in microphone. The only way that the Viewboard and the Chromebox can both access it at the same time, though, is if it is hooked up to uh, one of these front USB ports. So I got a USB extender and uh, ran it from the webcam around to the front of the Viewboard so that I can use the webcam mic with either the Viewboard interface or the Chromebox interface. Um, if you, uh, the other option is to just hook it up to the Chromebox directly which would only allow you to use it with the Chromebox, or if you hook it up to one of the side uh, USB ports on the side just behind the display, uh, that appears to make it only accessible to the Viewboard interface. But these front USB ports, I believe, are accessible to both. So uh, that's where I've got it hooked up right now so that I can record audio. I'm going to tap the check mark. It's going to give me a countdown. And I'm going to begin recording my video. So uh, it's going to record whatever is on the screen. There's nothing. It's not going to show me. It's not going to show anything but the screen, but it will record the audio. So I can do whatever I'm going to do uh, in my lesson. That's a very interesting lesson there. Uh, and I'm going to press the pause button if I want to pause and resume. Uh, press the play button to resume my video again. And when I'm done completely, I'm going to press the stop button. Once I do that, it's going to open a preview of my video. It's going to automatically start playing it and you can maybe hear the audio i can hear the audio so uh the the webcam does pick up audio um it's pretty sensitive to a, if i'm speaking in the other direction it's not going to pick up as well you can still hear it but not very loudly so if you're recording a video to post you want to try and aim your uh, voice at the webcam so i'm going to tap the save button and it's going to give me the option to save it to uh, the local storage, I think, I feel like the Google Drive should be an option here, but it's possible that I am not signed into my Google Drive right now. So I think uh, saving it to Google Drive should also be an option, but I'm going to go ahead and save it locally here. Uh, we'll call it sample video. Actually, we'll call it sample B video because I can't type. Uh, there we go, and uh, I guess I'll save it in, I'm just going to save it in the uh, root folder. So it tells me the file is saved, and if I want to post that to Schoology, for instance, I should be able to do that by opening one of my browsers, either Chromium or the browser, and going to Schoology. And I should probably type in mattoon.schoology.com. I'll need to sign in.
Once I sign in, I can open up one of my courses, like for instance, my sandbox course. And I'll add materials. And I'm gonna have to upload this as a file since I did not save it to my Google Drive. If I had saved it to Google Drive, I could import from resources. I'm gonna add file link or external tool. It'll be a file. And hopefully I will be able to find that sample video in the local storage. I'll need to allow it to access what it needs to access. Access the folders and there's my sample video. So I'll select that, tap OK. It's gonna upload that and I'll add it. So now my class should be able to access that video. Another option, and maybe uh, one that you're probably more familiar with, is to simply use the Chromebox interface to record. So I can do that by accessing the Chrome interface by using the side menu, this bottom separate menu to change my input to HDMI 1. Looks like my Chromebox has gone to sleep, so it's not showing any input, but it will once I wake up the Chromebox by pressing the power button or pressing one of the keys on my keyboard. Once I log in, uh, I can open up Chrome, and basically I can record just like I would on uh, in my web browser on my Chromebook. So you can use your whatever your favorite uh, recording tool is. I use Vidyard a lot. You could use Screencastify. Uh, you could use whatever you want. It's not going to let me record on Google, of course, for some reason. So I'm going to need to go to a different website. In fact, uh, so I could uh, launch my view board or I could launch uh, Miro or whatever, uh, Google Slides, whatever uh, interface I want to use in my video. I'm gonna log in and open up my whiteboard. So again, I could open a whiteboard that I've already prepared or I could start with a blank one, whatever I want to do. And then I can go to my favorite recording utility like Vidyard and uh, it, it, the first time you do this, you'll have to uh, give it access to your webcam and the webcam microphone. And then you can see that those are selected. Uh, I have the option of recording what's on the camera down there. Uh, I can also just record the screen or I can just record the camera if I really want to. Um, oh, they've added a speaker notes thing. That's nice. So whatever, my, whatever option I want, I'll select that. I'll start recording and go from there. I have to give it access to record whatever I want it to record. Could be the screen, or I could just go with a single window or tab. I'm gonna record the whole screen. It's gonna give me a countdown, looks pretty familiar, and it's gonna start recording. When I'm finished recording, just like I always do when I'm using Vidyard, I'll tap the stop button down here in the lower right corner. And just like always when I'm using Vidyard, it's gonna take me to this uh, page. And whatever method you use to get that video from the extension to Schoology, you can use that just like you always would. So um, it's exactly like the Chrome interface. So that's a couple of different ways to record lessons that you can then post to Schoology for your students. If you have any questions, please let me know.